Today I'll be showing you how to make two simple designs in Canva that you can download and then upload to Cricut Design Space so that you can cut those out with your Cricut. If we're just meeting right now, hi, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. Canva is an easy to use design platform and you can use it absolutely for free. However, there is a paid version called Canva Pro similar to using Cricut Access, which will give you more tools, more font options and more graphics that you can use. But if you've never used Canva before and you're just testing it out, see if you like it before you invest in and getting the subscription, which I highly recommend. I use it all the time and love it. But if you still want to use the free version, you can absolutely do that today with the projects that I am showing you. So let's go level up your crafting skills using Canva. The first thing you'll have to do is create a Canva account if you don't have one already. Here is the home screen of Canva and here there are a number of different templates that you can use. And if you look down here, here are some of my recent files that I have been working on. You may notice my thumbnail there from my last video. So you can use Canva for so many different things. You can make invitations, documents, videos. And today we are making files that we can use in Cricut Design Space. So instead of choosing one of Canva's templates, we're gonna go up to the top and click on Create a Design. And once again, there's a whole pile of suggested templates, but we're gonna go down to the bottom and click on custom size. Now Canva automatically sizes the images in pixels, but we can change that. So before you put your width and height in the boxes here, click on the little arrow beside the PX. And instead of pixels, I'm gonna choose inches. And I'm gonna create a design that's four by four inches. You can choose whatever size you want to use and then click on create new design. And once again, you'll be given a whole pile of different templates here. You can scroll down and look through them, but we're not gonna use any of these today. If you wanted to, you could, and you could change out any of the images that are in the prefab templates. We're gonna make a very simple file that your Cricut will be able to cut out. So I'm gonna go down in this left-hand panel here and click on text, and then click on add a text box, and then go ahead and type in your text. I'm gonna make a little decal that says faith, hope, and love. So I'm starting with the word faith here, and then I'm gonna type out hope and love below it. So I'm gonna add another text box here and type out hope and love. Now, if you notice in our left-hand panel here, you'll see a number of different fun font combinations and you could use these and edit those if you wanted to. Or you can click on your text and go up to the top. Right now it says Canva Sans and that's the font we are using. And you can scroll down here and look at all the different fonts that Canva has. And there are so many fonts you can use. You could probably spend a whole day just exploring fonts. Now, one thing I want to point out is if the font has a little crown beside it, that means it's available if you have Canva Pro. If there's no crown beside it, that means the font is totally free for you to use. You can also search for fonts that you like at the top. So one of the fonts I like is called Beaven. So let's see if I can find that one. There it is. And at the bottom here, you'll see we have an option where we can change all our Canva Sans font to the Beaven font. So if I click on change all, that will also change the font for hope and love. But I'd like this font to be something different. So let's go back over to our font panel here. We're going to click on that X and I'm going to search for another font here. And we've got Mr. Defu, and this is a fun font as well. So hope and love are very small here. So you can change the size of your text up at the top here by clicking on the plus sign or you can grab the corners of your text box and stretch it out. You can also make that text box a little smaller. You can see we got a lot of space on either side of hope and love. So we can squeeze that text box in and then stretch it out. Now I want to have a little fun with the word faith here. So I'm actually gonna delete our T and put in two spaces here. 
and I want to put a cross here instead of the letter T. So we're going to go over to that left hand panel and click on elements. This is where you can find a whole pile of different images to use. So at the top, I'm going to type in the word cross and we'll see what comes up here. So you can look at all the images. You can look at just graphics, photos, videos, shapes. There's just so many different categories that you can scroll through. So I like to use graphics. So under graphics here, I'm going to click on see all, and then you can go and scroll through these and pick one of the crosses. Now, once again, if there's a crown beside the cross, that means it's available if you have Canva Pro. If there is no crown beside it, it is free for you to use even if you don't have Canva Pro. Now, because I want to make this into a decal, I'm not going to pick something like this, which looks like it would have an impossible amount of weeding to do. We just want to pick something that is simple to use. So this one looks like fun. So we could use this one and place our cross here and not really liking the way that looks, but I do like that type of cross. So if we go back over to that cross, if you hold your cursor above the cross, there are three little dots there. So you can click on those three little dots and then you can click on see more like this and we'll see what it comes up with. So now we have a whole pile of these brush stroke looking crosses and you can pick one that will suit your image the best. So let's delete the one I have here. So all we have to do is click on it and then click delete. So let's grab this first one here and I like the way that looks. Let's shrink that down a little bit and you can also rotate your image as well. So if you find the little rotate icon, you can turn your image whichever way you'd like. Now this looks like a great file that we could use in Cricut Design Space. Now if you wanted to, you could change the color of your design. You could just go up to the top and under the A here, it says text color. Just click on that and select the color you want or go under document colors, click on that and you can pick any color in the world. Now, because my plan is to cut this out of vinyl, it really doesn't matter what color it is. So I'm actually just gonna keep everything black. So I'm gonna go up to the top, click that back arrow and click on undo and our image is black again. So now I'm gonna show you how to upload this to Cricut Design Space. So the first thing we need to do is export our file. So you're gonna go up to the top right and click on share and then scroll down and click on download. Now the file type right now is a PNG file and that's what they suggest. If you don't have Canva Pro, keep it as a PNG file and I'll show you how to remove the background when we get over to Design Space. If you do have Canva Pro like I do, you can save this with a transparent background. So that means your background's not gonna be white, it will be see-through. Also, if you have Canva Pro, you could save this as an SVG file. But today I'm gonna pretend like I don't have Canva Pro and we're just gonna save this as a PNG. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on download. And now my file just popped up here on my screen. I'm using an iMac. I'm not sure if it just pops up on a PC as well, but my files when I download them pop up in front of me. But I'm gonna click on that X and I know my file has gone to my downloads folder on my computer. So now I'm opening up Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna click on new project. And now I'm gonna go over to the left hand side and click on upload. And then I'm gonna click on upload image. And I'm gonna find that image we just created in my downloads folder and I'm gonna drag and drop that into Design Space. And this is a very simple design. So I'm just gonna click on simple for this because we're only using one color and there's nothing really too fancy or too complicated about this design. And then I'm gonna click on continue. Now, if you have a subscription for Design Space, you can click on remove background. But if you're using the free version of Design Space, don't worry, we can still remove the background. So under manual, Make sure that magic wand is selected 
and then go ahead and click on the background of our image. And now our background all turned into little checks, which means that is now transparent. But don't forget, we also need to remove the background from in between each of these letters. So you can zoom into your design here and I need to click on the inside of my A and also these letters down here. So the inside of the O on hope, we got two little pieces and the P and the E. So just go through your design and see what pieces need to be removed. And then you can go up to the top and click on preview cut image. And you can see if you miss anything. I think there might be a little piece I missed on the L here. So I'm gonna click on hide cut image again and I did miss that little piece. So if I zoom in here down to the L, I can click right there and now I can preview that image again and that piece is gone. So this looks good. So we can go ahead and click on apply and continue. And because this is gonna be a decal, we're gonna save this as a cut image. So click on that one. If you were printing this image, you could save it as a print then cut. You can name your image here and insert any tags that you want and then click on upload. Now your new design is in your uploads folder on Design Space, so you can click on that design and then click add to canvas. And here is our new design that we just created in Canva and is now in Design Space. So you can go ahead and click make and get this cut out. But now I wanna show you how you can make a print and cut image using Canva. So let's go back over to Canva. Let's start off with a new project. So we're gonna click on create design and we'll do our custom size and we'll do that four by four inches again and click create new design. This time I would like to create a Mother's Day sticker. So we're gonna go over to elements and type in Mother's Day and see what comes up. Let's select graphics and see what type of pictures we have here. And this one's really cute and there is no crown beside it. So that is free for you to use. And that is a really sweet picture. If you like this, but it wasn't quite what you're looking for, you could hover above that image, click on those three dots, and then click on see more like this. And you'll be presented with a whole pile of other options that you could potentially use. I'm gonna stick with the one we have, but I'm just gonna stretch it out a little bit here so it fills up my canvas. Now let's add some text to this design. So let's go over and click on text, add a text box, and I'm gonna type in Happy Mother's Day. And once again, we can change that font. So let's do that. Let's do this one here called More Sugar. It's super cute font and we can make that a little bigger. Now, I really want this font to curve with my round sticker here. So what we're gonna do is click on effects at the top and you'll see a whole pile of different font effects you can use. So this one's kind of fun. There's hollow and that just makes the inside of your text transparent and it outlines each of the letters. You could add a little lift and this kind of just blurs everything behind the letters so it looks like your letters are popping off the page a little bit. And you can go through and check out all these different effects. I'm gonna leave the lift feature on. You can also change the intensity by going up and going down. So you can play around with that as well. Let's scroll down to the bottom and under shape, we're gonna click on curve. And you'll notice that Happy Mother's Day just made this huge big round curve. I don't want it that big. The curve is at 74. So let's grab that little circle and we're just gonna drag it towards the left until we get the curve that we want. So that's looking good. I just wanna move this up a little bit and let's play with that curve a little more. And I'm liking the way that that looks. That looks pretty good. So now I want to do one more step before we bring this image into Cricut Design Space. You'll notice that the background of this image is really light colored. So if I were to upload this image into Design Space just like this, it would probably remove some of this lighter background thinking it's part of the actual background, even though we just want the white piece removed. So to avoid that happening, what we're gonna do is bring in a circle. So if you go over to elements and under shapes, you'll see a whole pile of shapes there. We can grab the circle and bring that in. Now this just turned to purple and I don't want that to be purple. 
we can go over to the color button at the top. Let's change the color. And you'll notice something pretty cool in the colors panel. It will bring in different colors from your photo. So here is the photo that is on our canvas and it has suggested a number of different colors that are already in use on our canvas. So let's go ahead and select this orange color so that it matches our photo. Now I'm gonna stretch out this circle and make it bigger so it covers the whole entire image. Now we actually want this circle to go behind our image. So what we're gonna do is go up to the top and click on position and under a range, you can click on send to back. Or another thing you can do is click on layers and this is your layers panel here and you can grab that circle here and bring it to the bottom. And now that circle is behind our image. However, it's not quite centered. So what we're gonna do is select that orange circle, hold down your shift key and also select the photo. Go back up and click on arrange. And this time we're gonna click on middle and center. And now everything is aligned properly except for my Mother's Day text, which I do need to slightly move over. So let's do that. All right, and I am very happy with this sticker now. So we can go ahead and click on share. We're gonna click on download. And once again, we're gonna download this as a PNG. So click on download. And then we'll open Design Space back up and click on upload once again, upload image. And then we're gonna drag over that file we just created. This time we're not doing a simple design, it's rather complex. So let's click on complex and then click on continue. And with our magic wand selected, all you have to do is click on that white background and our background has been erased. So we can click on apply and continue. This time, instead of saving it as a cut image, because if we did that, it would just be a circle, we're gonna save it as a print then cut image. Once again, you can name your image or add any tags you want and then click on upload. And now we can add our new image to the canvas. And now if you want, you could go ahead and make stickers with this image that you just made in Canva. If you're interested in learning how to make stickers, go ahead and check out this video right here and I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.